tell you, gentlemen, science has agreed that unless something is done and done quickly, man as the dominant species of life on Earth will be extinct within a year. of the President of the United States. Stay in your homes, I repeat. Stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. Yes, cities, nations, even civilization itself, threatened with annihilation because in one moment of history-making violence, nature, mad, rampant, wrought its most awesome creation. But born in that swirling inferno of radioactive dust were things so horrible, so terrifying, so hideous, there is no word to describe them. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and there shall be destruction and darkness come up in creation, and the beast shall reign over the earth. Yes, the earth, the skies above and the seas below, infested by swarms of nightmare creatures, crueler, deadlier than the armored giants of prehistoric eras. Here is a wild, headlong flight into terror as the desert erupts with the grim battle for survival. Here is a fear, frenzied moment of suspense as mankind totters before a thing that multiplies faster than it can be killed. Here is a desperate plunge into the black depths of the earth where human courage challenges the brute force, the slashing jaws, the poison fangs that guard the subterranean nest where the beast spawns its terrible progeny. To all units, to all units, condition red, drain 267 is the target area. Repeat, condition red, drain 267 is the target area. We can't take a chance. It might poison the whole city. to scientifically study a creature that, by all the laws of nature, should have died a quarter of a million years ago. They dared to bring him back alive from his haunts deep in the jungles of the Amazon. They dared to put him on display with the other denizens of the deep while thousands came to marvel and wonder. You know, I, I pity him sometimes. He's so alone, the only one of his kind in the world. If anything goes wrong, you head straight for the surface, you understand? All right, let's go. They dared to study him, to probe him, to tempt him with the lure of a woman's beauty, thinking that mere chains could hold in check the primeval forces that surged and roiled within this strange being from the dawn of time. Hey, look, he broke the chain!
I say there are things better left unsolved. Who knows what waits for us in nature's no man's land? Impossible, unbelievable, fantastic. But I tell you, it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. Yes, it could happen. For various authorities believe that buried somewhere under the polar ice cap, in a state of suspended animation, are the awesome creatures, the leviathans that roamed the Earth at the dawn of time. And under certain conditions, a nuclear explosion could free one from his icy tomb. Then, guided by instinct, the beast would come back, back to the caverns of the deepest Atlantic where it was spawned. An armored giant wreaking his prehistoric fury on modern man and his puny machines. Cities would be terrorized by the cruel intruder from the past. Populations crazed and panicked with fear by its destructive force. Granite and steel would crumble. Soldiers and their weapons would be powerless before the onslaught of the beast. The beast. The beast. The beast from 20,000 fathoms. Herald Square, 34th Street, Broadway. Every section of the city is guarded. No one knows where the monster will strike next. Another one, Colonel? No. You know what the radioactive isotope is? No, but if it can be loaded, I can fire it. I'll load it. Just remember one thing. This is the only isotope of its kind this side of Oak Ridge, so you can't miss. Airship XY-21, which crashed into the Mediterranean Sea on the 11th, was a single-stage, astro-propelled rocket launched 13 months ago from a site within the United States. The rocket, with its complement of 17 men, had landed on the planet Venus. Venus? The planet Venus? Some of you may also have heard the story of a monster now confined here in Rome Zoo. That beast is from Venus. Pacific Island, 
the Navy lands a party of daring scientists to solve the mysterious disappearance of an entire atomic research team. Strange horror strikes first at the plane that brought them. And then, earth-shattering tremors begin tearing the island to shreds. Okay, Professor, how are the crabs blowing up the island? I am not sure. But imagine they are able to send out arcs of heat. They are packed with it. They can melt and fuse parts of the caverns, explode the materials contained, and bring about the slides. There used to be ridges there for maybe two miles. Nowadays, less than half a city block. Soon we will have nowhere to run. Fathoms deep among the terrors of the mighty Pacific, daring skin divers brave undersea perils that stagger the imagination. Here are monsters with razor-sharp claws that hand grenades and dynamite cannot stop. Nor searing fire and flame nor tons of crushing rocks as mankind faces its last desperate chance. Maybe more. He's looking for only one thing. Blood. Human victims for human blood. Experiment in horror to satisfy a desperate need never before known. A need that was not of this earth. From outer space he came to destroy the people of this planet, leaving in his path of doom a trail of terror. He's going to kill me! Stay there, I'm on my way. I can't stay! I... Once a normal, voluptuously beautiful woman, she drove into a nightmare of horror and saw descending from the sky a titanic monster whose fearsome touch became a frightful curse. You think I'm drunk, don't you? All of you! I'm not drunk! I'm not! You've got to believe me! Please. It was right in the middle of the highway, 30 feet tall! Once she's in the booby hatch, Throw the key away. That'll put you in the driver's seat. You'd make a wild driver, Harry. With 50 million bucks. What she saw was beyond belief until others, too, faced its hideous, uncontrollable menace. <laughs> Attack of the 50-foot woman, incredibly huge, with incredible desires for love and vengeance.
Godzilla, king of the monsters, whose death ray blasts the city from the face of the earth before your very eyes. Godzilla, alive, stalking across the world, crushing all before it. Is Godzilla fantasy or a prophecy of doom? For the answer, see Godzilla, king of the monsters. A tale of horror more fantastic than any ever written by Jules Verne. More terrifying than any ever shown on the screen. Godzilla, king of the monsters. Incredible titan of terror. A story to stun the mind as a gargantuan creature of the sea surges up on a tidal wave of destruction to wreak vengeance on the earth. Godzilla, king of the monsters. Fantastic beyond comprehension. Tripping beyond compare. Astounding beyond belief. The mightiest monster of them all. Godzilla, King of the Monsters!